This is the situation of your life. What God has given to you is covered up. You have to contest for it. If you don't contest, it remains in the hands of those who have it. I want that to say somebody say amen, but it's not a good one. <laughs> don't say amen. So they say this amen. This amen. This amen. Are you listening to what I'm saying? And then, even after you are broken through at the first time, that's the reason why did you see Psalm 136, the Bible says, when the Lord turns again the captivity of Zion, we are like them that dream. Then our tongue is filled with laughter, and our mouth, we, we sing it. And we say, look at the way the Lord has turned the, the captivity of Zion. And then it goes on to say, turn again our captivity. The word again means God turned it before. And it's here again. Every level God wants you to go to is contested for. Every level. Every, for Jesus to become king and king, for Jesus to be born, lots of battles. He was born growing up, lots of battles. Herod wanted to kill him. So many things. He wanted to start his ministry. From the moment he got baptized, it was the first day they wanted to throw him out of the clip. Many times as he was preaching, they wanted to kill him. Now for him to become king of kings and the lord of laws, oh, this was the most terrible. All the demons waited there. That is what we were reading in Psalm 24. Lift up your hands, O ye gate, and be ye lifted up your everlasting door. Lift up your hands, O ye gate, and lift them your everlasting door, that the king of glory might come. Who is this king of glory? The Lord sprung up. Remember that even in Psalm chapter 24, it's repeated not just once. That means that it's, there's a contest. There's a battle. Whereas, the truth is that what you are contesting for is being given to you of God. If it has not been given to you of God in the first place, you can't contest for it and have it. Who is it that says it and it comes to pass? Except God has commanded it. Nobody receives anything except it comes from above. If anybody is battling over what God has not given, the person cannot have it. But we battle over what God has given to us. And if we do not battle, it remains in the hands of those who want to use it for their own good. And forever. Very bad is this statement. As a matter of fact, it's one of the worst statements that anybody who is a Christian will want to hear. But it is very provocative. 